Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now, today one of the important questions in the thermodynamics that is how to calculate amount of heat energy supplied in the graphical problem we will see with a, an example, okay. Now, this particular problem involves a first law of thermodynamics. According to first law of thermodynamics, if you try to supply an amount of uh, work done DW and as well as uh, if the heat energy will do some internal uh, work and as well as it raises uh, temperature, then we have du and dw contributes the total amount of heat and supply to the system. Okay. Now the come to the question. Here is a graph, sample graph we have already. So on y-axis we have pressure. On x-axis we have volume. That is nothing but this like some like indicator diagram. The indicator diagram of certain process, unnamed process of some unknown gas having degrees of freedom f, which is unknown again, and n is fixed. We don't know how many number of moles. That will be given by example. Don't worry. Now, the process occurs from A to B as per the arrow mark given. We had to calculate how much amount of heat energy need to be given to for the particular case. At this particular condition, we will write use an example here. I will guess equation for determining temperature at B. So, by using this, we got Tb and Ta and we got the temperature difference here. Come to the heat energy calculation. That dq is equal to du plus dw. Already we know that du is nothing but n cv dt. Cv is nothing but f by 2 r. That is the logic what I followed here. Cv is equal to f by 2 r. Where f is nothing but degree of freedom. You can use mono means 3, dam means 3, sorry, dam means 5, poly means depending on system, we can use that particular value either 3 or more. Now everything is standardized here. Dt is nothing but Tb minus Ta. And area of the graph, Dw is nothing but area. So this will try to form something like a trapezium. Look at here carefully. This particular thing will try to form a kind of trapezium. First side and second side, average here. And the gap between the parallel sides, this is called gap between the parallel sides that is given by V now. Now upon calculation, we got a 3 by 2 P naught V naught of 1 plus F. This is the final answer for this particular case. We will see some other extension for this particular problem in the next video. Okay. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel for further updates. Jai Hind.